this weird slow motion thing that beauty influencers do. Hey guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Please, just give me a fucking break, okay? I know it's been 7 million years and I've gotten 20 million more tattoos and 20 more million things that I need to do in my life that does not involve sitting talking to a camera on a pole in a ring with two boxes and a fake background behind me. Okay? But I'm here. If you like it and you want to get yourselves right in the midst, the midst, the mist, right in the midst of this shit, then please waste um, your time watching the next few million minutes of me talking to myself in a room. Thanks. Okay, so I am nervous to do this. <laughs> Fuck. I am starting by spraying this shit on my face. I'm doing this purely because everyone on the internet tells me to. That's a joke. I bought it because I wanted to see what it was about and, and it's, it's nice. So I use it. I'm starting with my primers. So I multi-prime. Professional by Benefit for the big pores across my T-zone and this part of my cheeks. And I use the Face of Australia Face Base Primer for the perimeter of my face and everywhere else. Okay, moving on to foundation. So the last time I think I filmed, I was using the Kryolan TV Paint Stick. It is like almost dead. I'm really going to be struggling to get this out. Let's get, let's get in there with the hands. Bring it back to high school. Using this foundation eliminates my need for concealer. I think in most people's cases, it eliminates the need for concealer because it is so full coverage. If you've used this before, you would know that you definitely don't need a concealer. Anyway, I use a beauty blender and the NYX Photo Finish Dewy Spray. This is my dupe for the MAC Fix Plus Spray. Okay, so once I get that kind of buffed in, I get a fluffy brush ready. I make sure one eyelid and one under eye are completely blended in. I get my translucent setting powder and set my eyes separately. For me, this just ensures that I won't get any creasing because I have hooded eyelids. So the foundation sits in that lid pocket. And for face powder, I am just using the Face of Australia Translucent Setting Powder. <laughs> Contouring so I just powder contour and I think I've been using the same product since the last video. It's really fucked up I'm sorry, but it's the Kat Von D shade and light palette. So I just start to so temples up to my forehead down my jawline Okay, once it looks like you've got a five o'clock shadow then I move on to brightening I use the Mecca max banana bake powder Do -do -do. I will be repurchasing this it's cheap. Recently, Mecca Max just went totally vegan, so that's good too. So I just went under my eyes, chiseled out, jawline, chin, upper lip. But I'll dust that off because I get really sweaty. And the forehead, I'll dust that off because I have to do brows. Now, I want to really try this soap brow thing, get soap. Uh, and then I have a spoolie. And then I am just going to wet. Look, I've just followed tutorials. I've actually never done this before. Just gonna like, like lather it up a bit, I guess. I probably should have done this before foundation, but. Okay, whatever, let's move on. I like it, but I don't know what I'm doing. So let's put the soap away. So I use the Dip Brow Pomade Still by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ebony. So we go in with an angled brush. This eyebrow is just trying to live its life. And what? And I'm just holding it down. I think we're just gonna live with that caveman eyebrow. And let's go and fill in the other side. This is the point where we just call it a day because these eyebrows are just bullshit. I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. 
I'm gonna prime my lids using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. And I'm gonna do one eyelid at a time. A similar reason to why I set one eyelid first is because by the time I get to the other one, it already creases and then I have to blend it again anyway. Translucent powder on the same big fluffy brush. We've set that. Now the main event is Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. Are you fucking right? Like, look at that. It's amazing. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I will start with Cake Mix, which is a nice transition shade. And I'll put that just in my crease. Or just above, kind of following my eye socket. I find that with my hooded eyes, going above gives the illusion of not having my shit eyelids. Okay, so I'm gonna grab Cavity, which is this bright hot pink on a NARS mini crease brush. And I'm gonna start off in the, oh, that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna start off in the inner corner of my eye. Holy shit. I don't know, I just feel like whatever I do just isn't like YouTube-y enough, you know, like, if you want to see a spotlight eye, you just like Google it and everyone else comes up but me. And I just feel like that's like, okay, you know? Okay, so I'm starting to bring the inner and the outer kind of together in a round shape. And I'm just going through back with that original brush with Cake Mix and blending it out as I go back and forth. That just lightens it up a little bit. Now I have the basic shape that I want. I'm just going to go fucking burko and pack it on. There is a little bit of fallout but on the palette, but I don't particularly mind about that kind of shit. But I know some people care. Now that I have that kind of basic situation going, I will grab a Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush and I'm going to get Root Canal, which is this purple shade. And I'm gonna lightly blend above that pink that I just put on there to create a blend. So I'm just aiming my brush upwards and then I'm getting a completely clean fluffy brush and just going to blend. This is just a matter of building layers. Everyone does these differently, but this is how I find works best for me. My eyelids and of course my capabilities and skills. I do want to keep a bit of separation. I like how they blend together, so I don't mind. Okay, so now I'm going in with a more pointed crease brush and I'm gonna go in with a coma which is the darkest plum berry shade. And I'm really excited because I don't have a shade like this at the moment. But I'm going to pack that right in that inner corner and right on the outer corner. It will cover up the pink a little bit, but you'll be able to see it peek through still. I am completely, completely unsure about this. I don't know if I fucked it. I fucked it. I don't know. This is literally why I don't do this, because I just doubt myself like the whole time and I'm also just gonna add a tiny bit of black. There isn't a black in the palette, which like, I'm totally okay with. I'm just not sure about this look at the moment and I think black will change my mind a little bit, to be honest. So I'm using just the tiniest bit. For the crease, I'm going to use the P. Louise base. So this is in shade Rumor 0.5. So I was going to use this for the base, originally but this shade is really really light for me i ordered it way too light so particularly gotten used to using it yet and i feel like i'm not using it to its full potential so i've got a new one on the way that seems to be more of like my skin tone um so i'm grabbing this and just a round uh synthetic shader make sure that you're using a synthetic brush and this is super thick and super full coverage so you don't need a lot i'm just going to do that, go up, and that's kind of given me a guide, and I'm just patting it. Um, now I'm just going to use a really small detail brush. This is like a tiny, small art brush. I'm just going to slightly kind of fix it up. So I'm just looking directly forward into my mirror. 
I'm really just using the natural curve of my eye and the product on the brush to kind of carve. You just have to make sure that it's seen from when you look forward. Okay, and I'm back with my other brush that I fucking lost. Like, how the fuck does that happen? Oh, and I'm just gonna fill in that center again. I'm not good at these. Like, I'm not gonna try to pretend to be good at them because I'm not, but I try, okay, I try. Okay, at this point, I think this is the point where we kind of stop, rethink everything. And I'm just getting a small pencil brush. I'm just gonna tap out the sides of the base to help start that blend. Because I am still learning how to do these well. Kind of trying out different things that work well for me. I am going to go in with Sweetener, which is this beautiful kind of rose gold shift shade in the palette. I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush and just wet it with the dewy finish. I've been doing this recently when I cut my shit, but I'm going to get the NYX glitter glue and squirt a little bit on my hand. Use another synthetic brush and get the tiniest bit and tap it on. This just for me helps with the pigment sticking on the spotlight, but you know, just do what you want to do, I guess. And I'm just going to pack that bitch on. Then I'm going to get the original brushes from earlier on, starting with candy floss and just pat on those sides to start the blend. Dragging will not work. Now I'm going to go in with the darker shade and put that on the side. And then back with that pink on the fluffy. Pink on the fluffy. What the actual fuck have I done? Like, honestly. Oh, God. Okay, moving on to the bottom. The eye primer. I just blend that in with my finger. I've got a flat medium brush. And I'll go in with cavity first. And then the fluffy brush I used on the top. I'm going to really... I think I really want to smoke this out. Then I'm going to use Root Canal, which is the purple. And I'm going to make sure that everything is linked. Then I'm going to grab a, another fluffy brush and grab Tongue Pop and put this on the very, very bottom. On the lower lash line, I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Just really caking that bitch on. Now I'm going to go back to the bottom and get that small liner brush with Coma, which is the dark purple. And just do the inner corners of the waterline. And I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Curl my lashes. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. While that is drying, I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to use a pencil brush. There isn't really a highlight color in the Jeffree palette, so I'm going to use the Kat Von D Thunderstruck Eyeshadow Single, and this has been destroyed from flights. I'm going to push the product up into there. I will put on a lash. So I'm going to use the Eyelure Luxe ones and I got these from Priceline and they're really nice. I think I'm going to wear these for my wedding. They're really, you can't even, oh, oh god, we have, we have an issue. So they're nice and wispy and they have the flick at the end, a small, a small amount of duo lash glue and let that bit dry for a minute. I think I'm going to be that bitch and I'm going to do another set of colors for my other eye because why not? I feel like playing around. I'm not particularly happy with this one and yeah, I don't think we'll do a walkthrough of this eye, but whatever, I don't know. Once that's dry, I'll just do the lower lash. Um, so yeah. So, I felt like the way to fix my unsure eye was to do a completely different coloured eye. So, same technique, I just used the red shades in the palette. 
I really like it. I like the whole like mismatched eyeshadow thing. I'm still not too sure whether this video for the eyes was helpful or not. I mean, I tried at least, but I guess now we have to move on to the face. So I'm just gonna go back in with that highlighter powder brush and brush off all the excess powder. And then I go in with my contour brush and just deepen that shit up. Not like it needs to be any deeper to be honest. And next, I go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this is like one of my favorite products. I use it with a fluffy bronzing brush and I just lightly dust that everywhere. I then go in with my MAC Pointed Blush Brush. And I'm going to use, I only have like two, br two blushes like in my whole kit that I use. But this is Luster and I've always used it all. And I just brush that on like that and just go up. And that just brings the warmth back into my face. I'm going in with Becca and this one is Opal. And I'm going in highlighting my face. A little tippy of my nose and I pack it on my cupid's bow. Then it is on to my lips. I recently just bought Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star and I really liked it and I thought it looked different to everything that I have and it turns out it looks identical to my favorite, favorite liquid lip which is Celebrity Skin. So if I show you these two colors, they are like practically the same. Like what the fuck am I doing? This is a slightly more pink. I'm going to use my NYX Dewy Finish Spray and um, last but not least my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is my favourite, although I do want to try the Cover FX one. So if you have that, let me know if it's good or not. Now this is dry, I can do my gloss. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss in shade Fortune Cookie. I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to get changed quickly. I'll be back. So if you did like this thing, which really I only show you one pink because then I wasn't sure. <laughs> so yeah, just fucking hit me up. Tell me what you want to see and shit. Yeah, if this is a thing, then let me know. Number one.